Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my current skincare routine. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian, so I obviously share a lot of nutrition and healthy eating um, and intuitive eating content here on my channel, but I'm also very passionate about natural living. Um, I started you know, discovering the different ingredients that were in my products that could mess with my body, like you know, about five years or so now. And it's really become a huge passion in my life to pick things that are going to totally work, but also aren't going to have the drawback of, you know, being toxic or, you know, messing with my hormones or my skin or, you know, increasing cancer risk or anything like that. Rosie was very comfortable on the bed before I started and had no intention to moving. So I don't know if you can see her down here. Also, Bo is like living his best life rolling around on the floor. So if you hear some background noise, that's him. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through my skincare routine. So all of these products are, you know, natural or, you know, non-toxic, meaning they don't contain toxic ingredients. I feel like this is never like a fun thing to talk about because people get like a little defensive. I totally was that way years ago when I started learning about the things that were in my products and I was kind of like, don't tell me that my products are bad. Like they work so well for my skin and I love them and I don't want to change them. And I, so I told, I totally get it, but there is like, you know, this hard truth that there are a lot of unfortunately very toxic products um, or toxic chemicals or ingredients in our products nowadays. Um, especially here in the U S like over in Europe, it's, very different. They have banned so many things that we just allow to be in our products here in the US. Um, it's just something that we unfortunately have to navigate if this is important to you. And I feel like it should be because the things that you put on your body actually are going to get into your body. Like it's not just about what you eat and being conscious of ingredients, which is kind of what made me start thinking about all this because I was so conscious about what I was bringing in and consuming that, but I didn't really think twice about what I put on my skin. Anyway, so um, the EWG Skin Deep database is a great place to start. You can like search the products that you use. It will give you an ingredient breakdown. It will teach you about and give studies for each of those ingredients and um, teach you kind of like how toxic they are. And it also gives a lot of suggestions too um, of you know products that are safe and aren't going to come with these um, ingredients that have side effects. So think like hormones, um, increasing cancer risk. A lot of them have, um, especially if they have fragrance in them, endocrine disruptors, um, specifically like xeno estrogens, which mimic estrogen. So when they come into your body, your body literally thinks it's estrogen when it's not, it's like a chemical man-made, um, ingredient. So you can have like artificially inflated levels of estrogen, which come with a whole host of products, switching to non-toxic products and, and basically cutting out xenoestrogens, um, completely changed my life. Like as far as my hormones go, and I, you know, could talk about that all day, but that's another, to another topic. So just being careful and conscious of what you use can definitely have a huge impact on your body. Um, both, you know, how your, your health will fare in the years to come, but also just how you feel right now. Good morning, you guys. Okay. So I just really briefly wanted to share with you a clip of my bare skin before I put makeup on. Cause I feel like if you're watching a skincare routine video, you probably want to see the person's actual skin and not what it looks like with like makeup covering or correcting anything. So here is my skin. Here is a close up. I have a little bit of redness on, um, just the slightest bit on my cheeks and around my nose. Um, but otherwise my complexion is pretty even. It's pretty smooth. Um, you know, I can move everything around, but, um, don't have any, um, many fine lines. So yeah, there we go. There's my skin, what it looks like, all natural. Okay, so diving in, I'm first gonna talk about my morning skincare routine, which is super quick and simple. Um, it's not elaborate by any means. I feel like my routine in general is not elaborate, but the first thing I do in the morning is I just rinse my face with water. I actually don't like use a cleanser in the morning. I probably should, I don't know. I've just, this is always what I've done and I feel like my skin's in great shape, so, I just never really changed it, but I just splash my face with cold water, helps to really wake me up, but it also introduces water to your skin, um, which is important for like helping it to be moisturized. Um, and then I just go in with some kind of face lotion and that's usually pretty much it. I have two different ones that I like. So the first one is if I wanna wear an SPF, which in like the winter months when we're not like outside a ton in the sun, like I just don't 
just don't necessarily feel like I need one. But when we are outside a ton, I do like to wear an SPF on my face. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of SPFs are toxic. This one is not. Um, so this is from a company called Aaron's Faces that makes totally non-toxic um, face um, products, I think skin or makeup too. Um, but this is their, her pe peptide, uh, sunscreen. It's SPF 30. It says reef safe sunscreen for face. Um, so I really, really like this. I've used this. I've repurchased it multiple times. I get the big, f um, four ounce bottle that lasts me like I don't know, a year, like it lasts a long time. Um, so I really love that. It's very moisturizing, but it's light. It soaks into your skin really well. And it's obviously an SPF. So in those warmer months, I really like that. The other one I like for daytime, this is called the Bloom um, Brightening Cream. This is from a Young Living Skincare, uh, one of their lines. And it's just like a, um, it's a pretty light, but very moisturizing face lotion, which is why I like it for the daytime. I could also use this at night too, uh, but it soaks in really well. It's not greasy. It, you, know, you can easily wear makeup over top of it, um, but it's very moisturizing and it also has a brightening complex in it, which helps to brighten up the skin, obviously. Um, so I really like that one for daytime. Now, the only other thing that I sometimes do in the morning is actually use a self tanner. These are um, self tan face or just drops um, for your face. You could use them for your body, I guess too. But um, this is from the brand Lux Unfiltered. It's a blogger who started this. Um, her name's Siban, I think. Um, and it's again, made with natural ingredients, which is super important to me, but they totally work. But um, so I'll do this like maybe once or twice a week. A lot of times in the winter, I don't do it at all, but um, it does give such a nice, warm glow to my face. It makes my skin feel more like, or just, it just looks like I have a little more life in me. I love having just like that bronze, like kind of sun kissed glow to my skin. Like even when I have no makeup on, um, but I don't apply this. Like, so typically you would just put a few drops in a moisturizer and then apply that moisturizer to your face. That is not how I apply self tanner to my face. Because when you, if you think about it, when you apply, apply bronzer to your face, you don't put bronzer on your entire face. You only put bronzer on those natural points where the sun is going to hit your face and tan your skin the most. So like your cheekbones and the top of your forehead, maybe a little bit down your nose and then like a little bit, you know, down your neck, that is where you would apply bronzer. So that is where I apply self tanner tanner. I think it looks way better. It's definitely a very subtle difference, but this is how I like to apply it. So I'll just put a couple drops. I usually do like four, maybe five drops in my hand. And then literally just with my fingers after I apply moisturizer, apply, apply moisturizer first, I use, use my fingers and I literally just paint it on as if it were like a liquid bronzer. Um, it never is streaky ever. I've done this a bajillion times and it always turns out like a really nice soft glow. I do put moisturizer on first and then I do go back in with just a little bit more, more moisturizer kind of to blend it out, but more so because, um, self tanner will actually dry out your skin. It's very, very drying and we don't want that on our face. We want our face to be very moisturized. We want it to retain moisture. Um, dryness is like the enemy. So love these face tanning drops, but that is how I apply it. I kind of sand sandwich it with lotion, um, and apply it as if it were a bronzer, not directly all over my entire face. Okay. So now moving on to my nighttime skincare routine, which definitely is a little bit more involved, but I still feel like it's very quick. And this is like the least amount of steps I feel like I've ever done. And my, this is like the best my skin has ever been. You don't have to do these crazy long intense routines. Um, at least in my experience, if that works for you, that's great. Um, but I have found that just some, some really good basics have made like a huge difference in my skin. Um, and my skin is better now than it was like, you know, five plus years ago when I was using like really, you know, good, like dermatological grade skincare. Um, but unfortunately that had those toxic ingredients. I feel like my skin was just more aggravated and inflamed. It was a lot more red. Um, it had more texture to it. Like my skin is actually better now, which back then I would have thought it was the opposite. I actually was like, Oh, I'm, I don't want to give up my toxic skincare. It works so well for me. Like the natural stuff probably isn't going to like measure up, but it actually has been the opposite. <laughs> My skin is actually better now. So anyway, so the first thing I do is I, um, oil, um, cleanse to take my makeup off. So this is the one that I use. It's called the Mira luminous cleansing oil. And I will link all this stuff down below. And it's like such a silky cleansing oil. It feels so good on your face at the end of the day. It just like melts everything off. It just feels so good. Again, it's like the, um, that SPF lotion, it comes in a huge bottle. So this lasts me 
months, like probably six months. I don't know. I just use like four, maybe five pumps in my hand. It lasts such a long time. So it's very economical. Um, but anyway, so I will put a few squirts of this in my hand and just very gently with my fingers, I will rub it all over my face. The, my goal is to just break up all of my makeup so that it can easily just be cleansed off. I'm not scrubbing, I'm not rubbing. Like it's very, very gentle, but it does a great job of just breaking up all my makeup. It's gonna remove makeup. It's going to remove like dirt. It can remove any pollution that your skin has come in contact um, with throughout the day. And it just kind of melts everything off. So so um, then after I do that, I do go in with a more traditional foaming cleanser. Some people will just oil cleanse, but that's just not my jam. I like to do a more traditional cleanse just to clean all of that off. So this one is just called the Art Gentle Cleanser. It is a foaming cleanser, um, which tend to they can be a little bit more drying, but this one does not dry out my skin at all. In fact, it feels um, very moisturized afterwards. It feels very like supple still. If you use a cleanser on your face and it feels really like tight afterwards, that means it's stripping too many of the natural oils from your skin and that's what we don't want. Again, dryness is not good. We want like moisturized skin. We want that hydration. Um, so this is the cleanser that I use. It's, you know, it's a cleanser. I move it all around my face. It foams up nicely. It feels really good. It's very silky. It smells like straight up frankincense oil, which if you know anything about oils, frankincense is like the fountain of youth oil. So it's great for anti-aging, but it's obviously natural. Um, so that's what I use and it takes up all of my makeup. It takes up like all the dirt. My skin feels super clean afterwards. Um, but again, my skin doesn't feel stripped or tight. The next thing I go in with is this brightening essence. This is a bloom. It's that same line as that brightening cream that I like. So it has that same like brightening complex in it. Um, so it's, it's kind of like an interesting, it's technically like a toner, but it's very like viscous and gel-like. Um, it's not just like a straight up liquid um, and it feels so good on your skin. It's so like silky to the touch and it feels really good on, I feel like it's very moisturizing. Um, but when I first started to use this, I noticed such a difference in the brightness of my skin. I feel like just any like sullenness or, um, like just kind of like dark, like I don't know how to describe it. Like it just, it just makes your skin look more youthful. It everything is just is just brighter. Um, especially like my complexion was more even. Um, again, it has that like brightening complex of oils in here um, that I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, it's it's was very effective for me. So I just continue to use it to kind of maintain that. And it also has a little bit of I think it's mica powder in here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like. It looks kind of milky, um, but it has like the most finest shimmer in it. So it kind of puts that on your face, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, so I love that. It feels so, so good on and it really brightens up my skin. And then after that, I go in with a serum. This is called Beauty Boost. And this is like such a game changer for skin. When I first started using this, um, I noticed like three things. I noticed that the redness in my face had gone down so the, probably like the lowest it's ever been. Um, I noticed that like the little tiny like fine lines I had around my eyes definitely like smoothed out a bit. And then the last thing is this just makes my skin so smooth. Like the texture of my skin is so smooth. Um, I don't know if you guys get like kind of like those clogged pores in your nose. Um, but when I like apply this at night and I wake up in the morning, like that texture is gone. I don't understand like how that works, but it makes my skin so smooth. And I feel like I can actually go like longer without having to exfoliate because you know, eventually like stuff does kind of like dead skin cells and products or whatever do kind of build up on your skin. And it is good to take that off. And I'll talk about that in a second, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like my skin's super smooth and I, I can just go longer without like feeling that, um, like that texture and that buildup um, and needing to like slough all that off. Um, so anyway, so this has rose um, oil in it. It's one of the most like powerful, like intense oils that you can use for your skin in a good way. Um, so that is in here and it's a very um, like moisturizing, like thicker kind of oily serum in the best way. And I apply this, I don't even use a moisturizer anymore. I used to use like a serum and then a moisturizer, but this is just kind of that this checks off both boxes for me. So I love that I can like, I don't have to buy an extra product. It, it like really moisturizes my skin. Even through the dry winter months, we have radiator heat in our house. It's so dry and my skin has been like re remained very moisturized. Um, and again, I'm not using like a thick moisturizer at night that I used to use and rely on. Um, 
So I love that beauty boost. That is the last thing in my skincare routine. Okay, I have a couple other favorites I still wanna mention, but before I get to that, um, the very last step in my routine that I do like maybe once or twice a week um, are these facial, facial patches. So I found these on Instagram, an ad like totally got me, and I actually really love them. I was so skeptical, I was like, how does that even work? But it, it, it really does totally work, at least for me it absolutely has. So this is like, an alternative to Botox that's obviously completely natural because it's literally just like a little if it, it looks like a um, kind of looks and feels like a band-aid once it's on um, and it's just like starch and it anyway so it's, it's very it's completely natural um, but it, it does what Botox aims to do and this is why I feel like I will never like I don't need to get I especially don't feel like I need to get Botox at this point in time, um, but I have really no desire to get Botox. I am not against Botox. I think people should be able to do whatever they want to do to their face if it makes you happy. I just personally, I just don't like, I just don't like the look of a frozen forehead. Like I just, I feel like I can tell when people have Botox. And again, I'm not judging you. If you want to get Botox, you go ahead and get, get Botox, girl. But I just don't want that look on my face. Um, and I also just don't want to pay for it. Like it's, it's not cheap. So I just don't have any interest in getting Botox. But I am interested in like aging gracefully and trying to like, you know, use anti-aging products and not get wrinkles for as long as I can. So I'm always on the lookout for those kinds of things. And I feel like I've really nailed it down with my routine, but I found these and this was like the missing puzzle piece for me. So on my forehead, I definitely, um, I do this, I scrunch during the day. I don't like, like to do it cause I try not to. Um, I've like kind of, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I've kind of trained myself not to ever like raise my eyebrows. Um, so that I'm not creating those like forehead wrinkles. Um, but I, I for, for whatever reason, I cannot train myself to not do this. And I notice that at night, I do it a lot at night when I'm asleep. So I can't even like, I can't even counteract that I'm asleep. Um, Cause I'm just like, I'm, I can be like a little bit like a physically tense person. Um, so I'll wake up in the middle of the night and find that I'm doing that. Um, so I try not to, but so I've started to get, I don't have lines forming yet, like the 11 lines yet, but I do have like, I can tell the muscle underneath of my skin is starting to get like, it's, it's becoming like this. So like when you scrunch in this muscle in the very middle will build and get bigger. Like, you know, when you're like, you know, you do a million reps, your muscles get bigger and then you'll have kind of these like little valleys on the side. So if you see someone, you know, a woman or a man much older, you'll see, you can see this, like, even if they like try and stretch out, like it's, it's just, it is what it is. Like their skin is around this muscle and where those valleys are, where that skin kind of like goes in, that's where the wrinkles form. So one way to attack that is to actually smooth out that muscle. That's what Botox does. It literally like paralyzes this muscle, um, or I guess wherever you put it, um, for, you know, it's, it doesn't last forever. It does eventually wear off, but it will paralyze this muscle so that you, you can't do that. So the muscle, since it's not contracting all the time, will just totally smooth back out. So then you're not forming wrinkles because you're not messing with the, the structure of that muscle underneath, if that makes sense. So that's what these patches do. They smooth, they train your, your face to smooth out that muscle. So I wear them at night and I'll just put them on. I just do three like right across here because that is like where I need it. Um, but you could, you could, they have patches for like all over your face. But so I just put them right there and um, overnight they, they become super hard. It literally feels like a cast. Like if you were to get a cast um, on like a broken bone, it's super hard, but it keeps your muscle totally like frozen. <laughs> in place. So when I wake up in the morning, not only is it like helping to me to train to not do that, um, but when I wake up in the morning, I can literally, I can see it, but I can also feel underneath my skin that that muscle is totally smooth. Now, of course, as you go about your day and you're not wearing these patches, you're going to start making those movements again, but it kind of trains you not to do it. And it also smooths, it like gives your you know, face hours to not make that motion. So it smooths everything back out. And I can, I can notice, I can notice, I can notice, I'm sure nobody else can notice, but I can notice a difference the next day, how smooth that is. There's like no, um, there's just no like rise in the middle. So huge fan of these. I find that they totally work. They're not expensive and they come with a bajillion. So like this is, you know, maybe going to cost me like 25 to 50 bucks a year to help train that muscle not to do that. So I am all on board and obviously it's really natural too. <laughs> 
Okay, a couple other like honorable mentions. Um, so the first one is actually collagen supplement. So this is the only other thing that I use like daily, or at least I try to. Um, so I, it's a powder. I just add this to my coffee. This one's almost done. Um, I add a little bit to my coffee each morning. And this has actually made such a big difference. I was such a collagen skeptic. I just feel like everyone's talking about collagen nowadays and it's just like a fad. And I'm like, okay, that probably like doesn't have very much merit to it. Um, but I gave it a try because I will try literally anything that's natural to improve my skin because I'm a skincare junkie. Um, and like I had to eat my words. It really does work. Like the hype is real. So this is a, it's, I always get mixed up. I think it's type one. Um, and it's marine sourced collagen, which if you actually look at the research, which now there actually is like legitimate research and, you know, peer reviewed articles on using or supplementation of collagen for skin, um, which I didn't know. But of course I was like, well, let me just like look into this. And it turns out that there's actually like there are studies out there that have looked at this and it's the marine collagen specifically that targets skin. Um, and I have definitely noticed a difference. So especially when it comes to like fine lines, especially in this area, I mean, that's really where my fine lines are at this point in time, because I like to try and keep my forehead frozen as you guys now know <laughs> with my patches, but, um, like obviously smile lines happen. Smiling is a good thing. I'm not unhappy about smile lines. But it does, it is completely smoothed out, like this whole area. Um, like I don't even have them anymore. And it's interesting, if I get lazy about taking this and I don't take it for like a month, um, they start to come back. Like it really does, it does work. And I feel like it, you almost just have like such a glow to the skin right here because it's just like reflecting light off of it because it's just so smooth. Um, so as far as fine lines go and like wrinkles, this stuff has totally, totally worked for me. And again, I just add a little bit to my coffee each day. Okay, and then two more things that I wanted to mention, um, sfoliator, scrub, and also a mask. So like I said, I whenever I, I don't necessarily exfoliate on like a certain day or a certain amount of days a week. Um, it's just whenever I feel like my skin needs it, just like needs like a fresh, clean slate. It's getting, I just need to like slough off some dead stuff. Um, I will do a little exfoliating. I usually just keep mine in the shower and I'll do it in there when my you know pores are all like steamed up. Um, but this is the satin facial scrub and it has just like little um, beads. It's not, when it comes to a scrub, you don't want something that's really harsh. Like when I think of my like classic growing up, like the St. Ives apricot scrub was like the best. Like everybody loved that scrub. But like that is, it, those are very sharp, like pieces of apricot shell um, or whatever it is. I don't even know, what is it? Um, but they're very sharp and that's actually very irritating to skin. It will like cause little tiny micro tears in your skin and you wanna avoid inflammation as much as possible. Um, I mean, that's for health in general. But um, again, if we're looking for anti-aging, we wanna keep the inflammation down. Um, so this scrub is very gentle, but it literally makes your, it, it is very effective and your face feels like a baby's like butt afterwards. It's so soft, um, but again, it's very gentle and it doesn't like scratch my skin. I can tell that it's really, um, like not abrasive, not harsh, but again, it works super, super well. It also has a little bit of peppermint in it. So it's like, it feels like very tingly. It gives you that like ting tingly, fresh feeling, which is always nice. Um, and then if I'm going to do a mask, I'm not like a huge mask person. Um, but every once in a while I do like to do a mask, especially on like my T zone, because that's where I get those like clogged pores. And this is the one that I use. It's just a charcoal mask. So it's going to help draw out dirt and excess oil. Um, that if you know, if you, again, if you have like congested pores, so I will use this one. It also has a little bit of, I think it's peppermint in here and it's has like a tingly feeling. It's like super like silky smooth going on your skin and you obviously just wait for it to dry and then you rinse it off with warm water. Um, so that is the scrub that I use and really like. Um, and I think it has like some kind of clay in here, um, as well to again, help pour or pull out, um, impurities from the skin. So those are my two little bonus um, items I like to use here and there. But that is it for my skincare routine, you guys. That's what I use. All of these products I have repurchased at least once, except for these. These last forever. I'm still on my first bottle. But when they run out, I'll definitely buy another one. Um, 
because I just, I love all these products. I will high, highly recommend them. They've worked super well for me. Most of them are like large quantities. So you, they will last you a really long time. So, you know, you're actually like probably spending less in the long run. And I also obviously just love that they are non-toxic and they don't have any ingredients in there that can mess with my body or create any, you know, bad consequences later down the road, later down the road. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would absolutely love for you to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new around here and I was also thinking I could do a video on like foods for skincare because skincare you know having a good routine is definitely very effective but I also feel like diet does play a huge role and there are certain things that you know you can incorporate into your um, into your diet to help boost the health of your skin or the um, you know help with anti-aging and that kind of stuff so if you want to see a video like that let me know um, I can do that just comment down below but again that's all I have for this video thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye